one sidecar race already over and full of surprises and another still to go three laps rob fisher number two once again the favorite to win despite the engine blow up on saturday caused by overheating as usual first away from the line is the winner of saturday's race roy hanked with number one on the front and phil biggs alongside him in the chair but Rob Fisher and Rick Long are still favourites for this one. They were quickest in practice and they recorded the fastest lap in the race until the engine went pop. Rob Fisher picking up time and closing on Roy Hanks as they arrive at Baller Crane knows all about the disappointment of mechanical failure while leading and all those thoughts must be going through his mind as he begins a replay of Saturday's opening lap. Fisher leads on the road and on corrected time and the unofficial timekeepers around the course put Bell in second place. Here's the man to beat again. Fisher flies over the mountain almost 30 miles into his opening lap. Vince and Graham Biggs at Ramsey seem to be down to fourth place. Fisher at Bungalow is leaving everyone else behind him as he streaks away into another commanding lead. Kenny Howells and Mick Bodice are keeping this one between themselves as well. Several places apart on the leaderboard but still at it on the road. Going over the mountain behind them, Ian Bell, second, but by a growing margin. Fisher starts lap two, leading by 20 seconds and more, but we won't know the size of the gap until Bell comes through on number seven. But remember that this is where the gap started to shrink two days ago, and for Fisher, this could well be a critical lap. It's all fairly critical for these two, though. Bodice is eighth and Kenny Howell sixth, so they're well apart on corrected time, but try telling them that. No new record for Fisher on the opening lap, but his lead is 25 seconds over Ian Bell, who is trying very hard, giving Neil Carpenter a wild ride round the TT course as he chases after victory. Roy Hanks, fourth on lap one, is still there on lap two. Fingers crossed now for a replay of Saturday afternoon's race. But there are no problems for Fisher, leader by more than a minute at Ramsey, and now only 17 miles from home on his final lap. Hanks and Wilson scorching up the leaderboard at the end of lap two, holding second through the final lap as Fisher goes up over the mountain for the last time, carrying a lead of more than a minute over the rest of the field in a superb display of superiority. Good news for Fisher this time, bad news for Ian Bell, no cigar again today. Still going, but third at Glen Helen, unofficially of course, and no real sign of improvement at Ramsey. Now it's almost all over as Fisher comes down to signpost with little more than a mile to go. Ian Bell over the mountain for the final time, is more than a minute behind Rob Fisher on corrected time, more than two minutes behind on the road. So Fisher streaks across the line to take the chequered flag, and though there's that long wait for the rest of the field to come home, the outcome here was never in any doubt. To finish the TT is a major achievement, and we've finished and we've won, and we're delighted. All right, we didn't win the double.